we're going to do. We do it at church all the time on Thursday night. Um, some of you may have seen the videos or something on YouTube and uh, of some of the songs that these girls have written and we do at the Jasper Georgia Prayer Meeting. Uh, we've named that thing everything. I think we've just settled on the Jasper Georgia Prayer Meeting. But that be it. But, uh, this, uh, this particular song right here I was uh, over in Alabama one night and I was buying some guitars uh, from some people that was getting rid of them. And uh, come home, rainy, cold back, and uh, Katie was sitting up in her room and she was writing a song and she got a little bit frustrated with it. And Katie has a unique ability of writing songs. She usually writes a mean, I'm going to burn your house down, blow up your car, uh, pretty, pretty rough song. She's had a few experiences with some boyfriends, so <laughs> it's usually pretty intense when she gets in an I'll be nice. I'll be nice. And uh, <laughs> kind of like that clothes burning you had out in the yard that day. <laughs> but uh, she uh, she kind of goes through a crisis, and she usually writes one of them songs that just expresses her feelings, you know, about how she feels about it. You know, some people just have that incredible ability to be able to turn loose and tell you what they think. But she'll usually write one of those songs that she cannot sing anywhere. It's that bad. And then uh, the Lord will get a hold of her. And He'll break her. And He'll crush her. And she'll write a gospel song. It's, a, it's just a unique thing that she does. And he definitely rebukes my anger. Yeah, if she gets mad, he does what daddy can do. If I jump on to her, she gets ill about it. The Lord gets out the bell, she listens. She wrote the song. She, uh, she got a little frustrated because she talked. She said, I wrote this verse and she sung it for us. She wrote, you know, we come with all of our problems. Every single one of us has got baggage and garbage in our life. Things that the Lord wants to clean up. Things the Lord wants to straighten up. It's like I tell my folks all the time. I say, just grab up your two big bags of nasty and come on to the altar with it. God can handle it. And so she wrote this song. And the first verse talks about how that I come or we come with our problems, with our hang-ups, with the things that, the issues in our life. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody here got any issues that you'll admit? Amen. And then she talked about, the next verse talks about Jesus comes. He comes with an answer. He comes with a journey for your dream. He comes with, with the answer that you need. Jesus has the answer through the cross. And she got frustrated a little bit. She came in the living room and was singing this song. And her mama said, well, what about, will you come? Will you come? See, I believe that's the question the Lord asked us. He says, I know your problems, I know your, I know your ability, I know what you can, what you cannot do, I know what you can handle, what you cannot take. And Jesus says, I've got the answer for you. I did it on the cross of Calvary. If you'll put your faith there, if you'll put your faith in what I've done for you, I will give you the answer. See, we need a lot more of Jesus than that. Your mama said, well, baby, it's real simple. The question to all of us is, when we come, when we come to Him, listen to the words of this song. It's called, I Come, Worship Him. This is basically... 